Hello, I'm assuming you guys are here because you want to find out how to get a wallpaper like this. Well, here's your tutorial. So first, you're gonna want to open Google Chrome. Go to lively wall or search up livelywallpaper.com, or go to this website. I'll have it in the description of this video. Um, yeah, it'll bring you to this page. Scroll down to download. Click installer. It will install the installer. Then you're gonna go and install it like you would for any other app. Uh, it's totally safe. Don't worry about it. Oh yeah, these are all the these are all of the requirements and stuff. And then you're going to want to uh, go to whatever Steam Workshop page. Go to the Steam Workshop page for your wallpaper that you want to get. Now you're going to want to copy that link. So I'll also have this one in the bottom for all you Carter PCs fans who want to use his wallpaper. Uh, now you can go to here and then you can paste it. I'll have all three of these links in the bottom or in the description of this video. So and that will wait for it yep now it's going to download it it's going to download it and you can go and you can see download link that is the correct link okay now you can just uh, exit out if you have lively installed by now uh, then you so I already have it installed, but what you guys are gonna click is more wallpapers. Oh wait, no, no you're not. Never mind. Um, I don't remember what it's. Oh yeah. Okay. So open up File Explorer. I'm gonna drag it on my main screen. Then you're gonna go to Downloads. You're gonna extract this. Um. I'm just gonna extract it to right there, right there. Now, that's just the preview. I can't remember which one it is, so I'm just gonna, so I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna drag and drop all of them over here. Okay, just keep drag and dropping the different ones until it support until it says it supports it. Okay, doesn't support that. Oh yeah, okay, you're gonna drag and drop this one. I remember now. Drag and drop this one down to right here. And then you can s you then you choose which display you wanna do it on. For me, that's gonna be display one, and it'll set my wallpaper back to default. And then click okay. And now it's going to set my wallpaper to it again see that and now I can just click the exit it will run as a background app 24-7 um, but yeah then you've got this nice wallpaper and see it even works with the effects that you would usually get for just using wallpaper engine um, yeah so, or that will be it for the episode today um, I will have all the links to everything I used in the description of this video uh, but yeah that will be it for me today goodbye